Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sally. If you guys haven't been here, welcome. We love everyone. So if you guys haven't noticed, um, I cut my hair. My hair was up to my booty, okay? It was literally like, it was gonna touch my butt. And then, you know, I did the dumb thing of bleaching my hair this summer because I wanted it to be purple while I wasn't working. It was damaged like really, really bad. So I was like, you know what? It was to the point where if you see my all my previous videos, every single video was in a bun because I just didn't want to deal with it because it was just disgusting and gross and the ends were just like I just couldn't style it I just I needed a new look today I decided to cut my hair and I chopped it all off and I love it I love the short hair I love my hair Okay, anyways, for today's video, we will be doing April's favorites. I wanted to start this little new series and see if you guys like it, not like it. It's just basically to keep you guys, like, updated. See, look, I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? My voice is going away because the weather is, like, crazy. It's, like, really cold outside, and it's really hot, and it's really cold. It's, like, eh, it's bipolar. It doesn't know what to do. I wanted to try something new. Hopefully you guys like it. It's, like, a little mini series. It's gonna be like my favorites and my not so favorites for the month so like hit and misses kind of thing basically keep you guys updated on all like my unboxings what i've shown you throughout the month and to keep you guys updated and give you my honest opinion because i can tell you that something's really amazing and then i actually like actually use it for the next month and it's total crap right so i want to keep you guys updated so let's do that with april's favorites and let's start with the first thing so how we're gonna do this is i'm gonna show you the product give you my opinion and if I used it for today's makeup this is today's makeup look you see do you see my makeup look if I used it for today's makeup look which I filmed before I cut my hair fun fact so I'm still gonna have my crazy hair I will show you guys how I use it makes sense okay let's get into this so the first thing was actually a hit for this month which was the pharmacy deep sweep 2% BHA pore I don't I don't remember if I got this in March Boxy charm. I think I got this in March or February. I don't know, but I haven't used it till this month. And oh my god, let's roll the footage. So basically, all you get is you know, just get a little cotton round and you put a couple drops in and you get your face even. And I cleansed my face before I used this. You will see at the end of it that it's still dirty because a toner like this is gonna get everything out of your pores, it's gonna help you with your skin. And I have noticed ever since I started using this day and night, I don't get as much pimples as I used to. Too. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't really have that many pimples and my skin hasn't looked this good in a minute And I think it's because I've been I've been using this like non-stop and it's it's actually been helping me I like this. This is a hit. I recommend picking I actually just ordered another one from the boxy add-ons boxy charm add-ons If you guys don't have boxy charm I know there's a huge deal going on with this month's box and the shipping and everything But I do generally like them because they have like their add-on store where you can add extra stuff to like next month's boxes and everything is super discounted prices i know this is pretty expensive because this is pharmacy and you can buy it at sephora pharmacy this is probably like 40 something dollars and i think i got it for like nine bucks on the add-ons i don't know how they do it it's super discounted but i added another one of this from my add-ons because i love it so much that i'm gonna keep rebuying it because it's the only thing that's clearing up my acne right now like only thing clearing up my acne and it's because it's because of this you hear it? It's glass. It's like really good material. So this was a hit. Let's do the next item. So another hit that I have is this e.l.f. sponge. I don't know if I ever... Did I show you guys this? I don't remember. Did I? Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I got this in one of my Target runs. I don't know if I showed that Target run or I didn't or this was before I started filming my Target runs. I've always wanted to try like a really good sponge because I've been getting like the beauty blender and I think it was Real Techniques. And this one, as soon as you wet it, it gets like so spongy. I don't know, it just expands. This is the only one that doesn't really suck up like the makeup and it actually helps you adhere it better. And this e.l.f. little sponge is just $5 and it, it's honestly, it works a lot better than like the beauty blender and all those sponges that are like 20 bucks. You're like, no, $5 e.l.f. Go pick it up at Target. Recommend. This is a hit. Okay, let's do the next one. I know a couple of you guys are actually wondering if this product actually worked. I know a couple of you guys saw my April BoxyCharm unboxing and it had this product which was Dragon Beauty Lavender Color Corrector and holy crap this works I did not believe in color correcting I was like yeah okay whatever Dragon Beauty Nikita no like Nikita color correcting don't work 
but I was wrong and I admit I was wrong. I read that it can be used for pimples and as if you will see, I actually do apply it on my pimples on my neck. I apply it on my cheeks, on my other side and it completely takes away the pimples and like it doesn't take them away, obviously it hides them, right? And then I also put it around my mouth and then on the very high point of my cheeks so my face looks brighter on my cheeks, the high points, and it works so good. I think it works better than some concealers. It it does make it a lot brighter so I go over with concealer or foundation at the same time. This is the only thing that actually covers my pimples and it's covering it better than concealer. So highly do recommend this 10 out of 10. This is amazing. Regular price is $25 and then it was actually on the add-ons for nine bucks and I was like sold so I put one in my cart too for BoxyCharm so it should be here next month but I was skeptical and now I'm a believer for coat. Only this one though. I feel like other ones don't really work but Dragon Beauty has this one has a certain formula. It covers your pimples and I'm just like the heck like it's so hard for, like even with concealer and I use good concealers too sometimes. Sometimes I just use the elf. It won't conceal it as good as this color correcting. Recommend. Go get it. So let's move on to something fun. This is what dreams are made of. Look, my nails match. It's totally early 2000s vibes. I love it. Okay, so by far this month has to be my favorite palette. This, this is just nostalgic. Like look at these colors, like these greens right here, the pinks, the purples, everything just screams Lizzie McGuire plus the tie-dye. If you haven't seen my tutorial on this, my review, I, I recommend it because we got such a good time. We're all singing there what dreams are made of and I'm all into my butterfly clips and it's, it's just a good time. It's a good time guys. This is my favorite palette for the month of April. So what I start doing is on the outer corner of my eye I start with digital bean which is this dark purple one and then in the middle so I blend that all together blend it out you know blend 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 and then in the middle I start cutting my crease with concealer I was attempting to do a halo eye and then it kind of just became a cut crease but it's okay makeup is as we go then I put don't freak on the outsides I was actually trying to do the halo so you can see it was don't freak and then in the middle I did dear diary and then it's created this beautiful green glow Low. and then I saw the bye bye the color bye bye and then I did that in the inner corner and I just thought it turned out so cute like I am obsessed with this look and I think with the eyelashes it turned out so good it's so cute so 10 out of 10 recommend this this is a Another honorable mention that I have is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. I got this in my February box, but I really didn't start using it until this month. I just, I don't know, it just happened. I, I don't know if you could see, but I am obsessed with this palette. I've been using these shimmers a lot, these pinks, and this is my favorite. This one I wear to work a lot. You know, Disneyland only lets you wear some nude colors, which is freaking annoying, but they do. Yeah, so this is the one that I usually wear with like these browns. If you haven't, like if you want a really, really good palette, palette that's gonna last you a long time and it's gonna be like everyday colors and you can do multiple looks but you can still have a glam with the shimmers I highly recommend picking up the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered because it has worked so good for me these two together work beautifully like the colors and the combinations that you can create with these two is just like this is all you need in I mean if you don't want blues you know you don't want blues or bright reds this is all you need in your life these two combined Beautiful looks, beautiful looks. Favorite palettes of the month. So let's move on to some hyped up mascara that shouldn't be so hyped up. Okay, so Maybelline Sky High. I am still iffy on this. I, okay, as you will see me on this video, I only did my lower lashes because, I mean, obviously I wear falsies, so you don't really see the full effect. And even when I was wearing just this, I wasn't as impressed as the, as the original Maybelline Lash Sensational. I just, I don't, I don't know, like, I think the original Lash Sensational works better than than this the sky high and I mean I think I just might be biased because I like my mascaras a certain way this wand is good it's really skinny it's plasticky wand but I just don't see the hype it doesn't you know how it says sky high it doesn't go as high as you want it to be and I think TikTok overhyped it. it it's a good mascara it's a really good affordable drugstore mascara but there's better mascaras in the drugstore out there and that's just my opinion so for me this is this is a miss sorry eh, wrong miss miss Okay, let's do the next thing. Okay, so next is this this Huda Beauty highlighter palette. This one I did get from the Huda Beauty mystery box that I unboxed here. This is what the video looked like. Um, this, 
OMG, ever since I got it, I've been using it over and over and I don't know if you could tell that I've been using it, but uh, this color is just everything. Oh my God, the color in Saint Tropez. <sighs> Like, I don't know what to say, but it's so beautiful the way it looks on your skin. It's creamy. It's not powdery. It's actually super, super creamy consistency. And the way it goes on your skin is just like butter. It just, it just makes you look like you have a natural glow without being super blinding. And then at the same time, when you're up close and personal, you're like, wow, that's a beautiful highlighter. It's just, this highlighter palette blew my mind away. And I, Huda Beauty knows what she's doing with her formulas because her eyeshadows and and her highlighters are just so freaking good. They're so good. Okay, now let's talk about a couple misses and then I'll move on to the lips and then a body item and then we're done. See, this video is nice and cute and short, semi short. I don't know, I've been filming for like 30 minutes already, so I don't know how short it's gonna be, but for you guys, it might be short. Editing, short. So let's talk about the cavity palette. I did say in my video that I was super, super excited. Blood sugar video, uh, I'll put a screenshot of what it looks like right here. I think this is a beautiful, beautifully designed palette and the highlighters are really big, but they're for me me, they're just they're a little powdery I don't know what it is the pink one I will never use the red one I will never use I really like this rose gold color and this one this to me is a little powdery I'm just I don't know when you compare these two this just outperforms this throughout the day like this gets a little dull this stays nice and bright throughout the day so if I say you're gonna spend some money and some coins go with the Huda Beauty like once in a while I'll go with Icing Ivy or Rose Gold when I want like a a nice shimmer but it's not gonna be like blinding like this you know it's not gonna be like popping you know I expected more and I'm not as impressed as I was the first day after using it so I'm sorry guys I'm sorry this I just Mm -hmm. it's not worth it it's not worth it so it's a miss i'm sorry now the next miss is going to be very surprising to some people because i did rave about this and i'm sorry i'm sorry i did but after using it three or four times i just kept getting allergic reaction to it it's still a beautiful palette <sighs> This kills me to say this because it's a beautiful palette, but every time I used it, my eyes would burn and itch. Every time I used this color and this color and a couple, every single color just makes me have an allergic reaction to my eyes. So it's nothing against this or whatever it is, it's me. I am very, um, I'm actually super allergic to a lot of things. Surprising as that sounds, I'm allergic to mangoes. I'm allergic to like California red chilies. I'm allergic to a couple of things and some formulas of eyeshadows just irritate my eyes and just make me cry and cry and cry and cry. And I feel like I, maybe I just don't have to get it super close to my eye or just like actually have like a base like concealer because I usually don't wear concealer unless I want a cut crease. I just put it on. So maybe I need to have a base so it's not directly touching my eye, if that makes sense, my eyelid. I don't know, I feel conflicted. I feel bad because I really love this. Like, this is so beautiful. This is so, like, like, let me show you wisdom. Like, do you see how pigmented and red that is? Like, that is so pigmented and so red. So, I don't know, it's, it's so sad and it's so shiny too. Look at the shine. I just wish I wasn't allergic to it. That's the only reason why it's kind of a miss for me. But for you guys, you might not be allergic to it. Mm, let's just let's move on to let's move on to a hit to make me feel better. Okay. So one of Jeffree Star's makeup that I actually love love is his velour liquid lipsticks and this is the new one that i got in leo and holy moly this color is like my perfect nude color it's like an orange brown but i just feel like this color on me just complements every single eye color anything that i wear it's just gonna look good it's gonna look it's so freaking good i've been using it this has been in my bag i'm afraid that i'm gonna use it really fast because i've been using it every single day and i probably need to change the colors full worth it whoever oh i'm gonna pick the winner t tonight or tomorrow it's late it's like midnight when do i film at midnight whoever gets this the extra one that i got i hope you guys love it as much as i love it because it's so freaking good i feel like i don't have anything on my lips i mean it's so opaque that you don't need more than one coat i just put on another one because i ate right now you don't need more than one coat it's just so pretty and it, you don't feel like you have anything on so that's what i i, I 
If you do want to pick up a Velour liquid lipstick and you've been thinking about it and pondering it, this is your sign. Go get it. Let's do a miss for me. I think I got this last month, either in March, but I didn't try it until April. This is the Kari Lip Oil from BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm last month and I just didn't like, I don't know, hold on. Do you see how like, did you see that? It's just so, um, stringy and do you, did you see that it's just so sticky and stringy it smells like coconut which is it's fine like it smells like coconut but it's supposed to be blue raspberry it smells like coconut and blue raspberry did i say that in the video i don't remember and then no matter how tight i like you know tighten it up it still spills and then every single day i have to freaking clean my makeup counter thing because because i'm like laying the, you know i have so many freaking lip oils that i like lay them down like this to fit better in my drawers and they just it spills everywhere and feel that when I put it on, it actually makes my lips drier than it is versus like a regular, like the Bali Balm, the one that I got in February's box. That lip balm is so good. That, that one, I should have reordered it today on my add-on. It's like $4 or $6. Anyways, this sucks. Kari lip oil, this one's trash and I think I'm gonna throw this away. I, I literally am just keeping it for this video. But after that, oh, I have an idea if you guys, comment down below if you guys like this idea. I have an idea for all my old makeup, like my eyeshadow palettes, I have foundation, I have blushes, I have bronzers. All this stuff is that super expired, like it's like four, five, six years old. I have a lot of stuff, okay? I have a lot of stuff. I'm thinking about like destroying it in a video, like literally like breaking it apart with a knife or something and like showing you guys all the destruction and like showing you how what makeup looks when it's destroyed. That's just an idea that came to my head and I was like, that would be so to like you know cut open makeup sponges and see what they really look on the inside i'm i'm just saying that would be cool if it's not cool that's fine but for me that's like destroying makeup would be fun in a way and sad at the same time but still fun if you guys like that idea let me know and i'll shoot it i'll shoot it soon so i can bring it out in the month of may let me know last but not least this body spray that i picked up at ross has been my favorite body spray of all times. This is Rebel Floor by Riri by Rihanna. But this just like, I literally spray it like everywhere. Well this, I, I picked this up at Ross and it was probably like, I think this was like $5 because you get it at TJ Maxx or at Ross where it's cheaper versus like, you know, Macy's or Nordstrom or whatever they sell it and it's super expensive there. But I don't know how they always, these stores always get discounted prices. I always go there and buy it. Her perfume has always been my favorite perfume of all time. It just, they smell the same. This is just in the body mist and this is the actual perfume. It smells like a musky flower. Like think of Victor's flower bomb, Victor, flower, I'll put a picture right there. Think of that, the flower bomb, but muskier like a man in the woods with you know like foresty smells and like wood is burning and then all the flowers come together and then this person is wearing that scent and they're just when they go into the room and they you know they open the doors and you smell them and you look at them you're like damn that person's hot and sexy like you smell them you're like that person smell good that's what this smells like i hope that was a good representation of what i did and i love this so much look like i am you see it it's literally at the end like, do you want to know how much I love it? I always have a backup. Always have a backup of this because it is so good. Rebel Floor by Rihanna. And it is just... <sighs> This is the mini size. I'll show you what the big size looks like. And this one, I got, guess where I got this too? At Ross. Oh, this was supposed to be in my Ross video, but I forgot to add it because I was already using it. So I just forgot to put it in there. So I'm sorry. This bottle is so bougie. Like when you have this out in the black with the gold, it just looks so pretty on your vanity. Like, look at that. Look at how pretty it looks. And then you take it off and you spray it. It just looks so like pretty. This one I got at TJ Maxx, this one I got at Raw, so you don't have to spend full price. I think this one was the same price as this actually, and this was at Ross. And I don't like celebrity perfumes. I think they're overrated. I really do. I think they're just, you know, trying to put their names on there. Like Ariana Grande, girl, your perfumes need to go. Bye. They're just mm, Nicki Minaj too. No, but Rihanna's. The, I think this is the only perfume I like from a celebrity that you're just like, holy crap, that smells delicious. I don't know what it is, but Rihanna does something that is, I would imagine this is what she smells like, you know? So thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you guys like this video, this little new thing of April's favorites, uh, favorites, 
hits and misses for the months keep you guys updated kind of thing because I feel like a lot of you guys want to know like if I've been using it how good is it how does it perform so that's what I want to show you so I hope you guys like it and if you guys do like this give it a thumbs up if I get to 50 thumbs up on this video I will do it again for the next month so please give me a thumbs up so we continue this and even if I don't get 50 thumbs up and I really like how this video came out then I might just do it okay okay and so thank you guys so much for coming i really do appreciate it i hit 900 subscribers today today is the 22nd 23rd 22nd 22nd it's gonna be the 23rd in 20 hours 20 hours oh my god i'm tired it's gonna be the 23rd in 20 minutes <laughs> sally's on something what are you on i need caffeine <sighs> Anyways, thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and just helped me out and helped this channel grow. We'll see how far it takes us in the future. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. I do these type. These aren't new, but I do these videos. Unboxings, clothing hauls, makeup tutorials, a lot of stuff. But I do a little bit of everything. I always do take requests. I'm going to be doing a makeup beginners video soon of like you know just beginner makeup techniques from everything from like how to prep your skin to like proper eyeshadow techniques to like blending techniques i don't know if i'm gonna have to split it up because that song sounds like a really long video it's more than i think of it but i want to show you guys like little tips and tricks to do with your makeup because I, I think that you guys deserve that to learn like what i've learned as i've gone you know with this road of makeup thank you so much for coming remember to subscribe like share this video hit that little notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys